dreams. Social media has a way of creating the illusion that dreams come instantaneously, that the road to success is beautifully glossed with red carpets, thousands of likes and can happen overnight. From my experience, this is not the case. Let me take you back 13 years to when I began my classes at the Royal Academy of Dance in London. The dream was born all these years ago and only just now has it been truly realized. Dreams take time. Let's fast forward a few years to seven months ago when my Fontaine journey commenced. For a long time I had witnessed my friends compete in the Fontaine, previously known as the Gene, a prestigious international ballet competition which sees incredible dancers all around the world come and perform to celebrate our art form. I had been waiting for years in expectation for the moment the applications would open, and then, well, a global pandemic seemed to put a spanner in the works. All the hopes and plans of drilling my variation in the comforts of a studio were dashed, and I found myself in a minus five garage taking offence, quite literally, to the walls around me. After all the training and planning and hoping, I was unsure whether I'd even be able to submit my application because of the circumstances. The worst thing I could imagine was to be underprepared and under-rehearsed and submit solos I was not proud of. However, I faced these fears and submitted my application anyway. And now this is where I'll leave you, with a past Hannah, back in February, who was about to receive her first coaching session for the competition. Good morning everybody, my name is Hannah Martin and I'm 18 years old and one of the candidates for the Margaret Fontaine International Competition. I'm so excited because I have my first coaching session with one of the coaches, Celine Gittens, today. I'm very, very excited to get all the feedback that I need to really perfect my solo, which I've chosen the third shade of La Bayadere. I just had my class with Elmhurst Ballet School. Unfortunately, we're still on Zoom at the moment. It's just garage training for the next couple of weeks until we can get back in school. I am lucky enough to get in the studio this afternoon for my coaching session. Very, very excited. I've done my stretches, had my breakfast, done my normal morning routine, got myself ready, some makeup on. And of course I had my morning class. So now I am ready for my day. I've got some yoga and then I'm gonna have some lunch and then head to the studio. So I just finished my first coaching session with Celine Gittens and it was incredible. If you can see, I'm very, very hot and sweaty because it was very intense, but I have so many corrections I can work on now for my solo, which I'm really happy about. And I can't wait to get right to it. Working on all of those details it was really, really good. Very excited. Thank you. 
completed my session with Gerard Charles on my Dancer's Own Variation. It went really well, I really, really enjoyed the session and I'm very much looking forward to applying all the comments that he gave me in future rehearsals. So feeling very positive and ready to work even harder over the next few weeks. to see the passion of young dancers across the world who have continued to work so hard and share their love for ballet despite such a challenging year. It now gives me enormous pleasure to announce the finalists for the Margot Fontaine International Ballet Competition 2021.